year and that means there will be plenty of exciting crazy games being released this year. So let's take a look at five that you may have never heard of. Coming out on February 28th is Pixel Cross Story of Season. I am excited for this one. I think it will be the perfect pick up and play game to relax with. For those unfamiliar, Pixel Cross is a puzzle game. There is a grid with numbers and those numbers represent how many boxes need to be filled in that line. As you clear puzzles, your farm will expand, you will get livestock and crops will grow. I think this is such a neat feature. As someone who played Picross for hours on my Nintendo 3DS, I am very much looking forward to Pixel Cross Story of Seasons. This game is coming out on Nintendo Switch and PC on February 28th. Another game coming soon is Lost and Found Co. This is from a team based in Thailand. The game is a hidden object adventure set in a gorgeous looking world. It gives me Where's Wally or Where's Waldo vibes, but cozy. I love this concept so much. I think this style of gameplay is relaxing and really makes you get immersed in the game. I mean, you have to look at every detail to find the missing objects. Plus, you can also personalise your in-game office. There is a demo you can play right now of Lost and Found Co, so I will link that Steam demo down below in the description. Check this one out. This next game is one I stumbled across on Twitter, or X as it's called these days, and that game is Manami Lane. The graphics look so adorable, and I love a cosy management simulator. The game is set in a Japanese-inspired street, and you create and manage the street to make everybody happy. Once you start the day, you'll get to see each villager react to your street and offer helpful feedback on how to improve. By memorising their preferences, you can redefine your street the following day to cater for them and make them happy. This game looks so wholesome, and although it states that there is only a runtime of two to four hours, I feel like this game is the perfect way to spend an afternoon absorbed in. Minami Lane releases February 29th on Steam. The next game is currently up for backing on Kickstarter. Now, I do want to say backing a game on Kickstarter is not risk free. Even if the game reaches its funding goals, there is no guarantee that the game will be delivered. I've actually personally backed projects in the past on Kickstarter and one of the most common things I find happening is the game's release date will get delayed. So keep that in mind if you do want to back and support games on Kickstarter. With that being said, this game is Galactic Getaway. The team behind this have a goal of creating an online game where you can decorate houses together, do farming, play mini games, and enjoy life on a planet together. Also, it isn't just a couple of friends, the target is to be able to play with up to 60 others. They are also implementing pet companions to the game, which is instantly a plus from me. The whole game looks cozy and cute. I think it'll be fun to hang out with friends in this world. The link to the Kickstarter is in the description with the team hoping to reach the funding goal by the 1st of March 2024, with the game set to be released on PC and Nintendo Switch. Now this next game is actually out already so I might be cheating a little here, but it is no secret that I am a fan of the Otome genre and the mobile game Love in Deep Space has been a wonderful way to take up my time. Now disclaimer, it is a mobile game so there is some gacha elements, however you can play it for free and without the gacha. But I like to let people know this upfront because if you have no self control in this space I would say to avoid. Now to the game itself. The big difference for this Otome game is the 3D graphics. It looks amazing on mobile. The game is 50% dating sim, 50% story filled RPG. There is even basic combat throughout the story where you get to pair up with one of the cute anime boys you are trying to romance. Love and Deep Space also has decent music including some excellent voiced songs. One other thing to note is the game is played online over a server. I am in the Asia region and have had zero issues with the server when I play. So there you have five crazy games that are either out, coming out soon, or coming out later in the year to look forward to. Don't forget to like the video and let me know in the comments section what crazy game you're looking forward to playing this year.